This arithmetic reasoning practice test question for the ASVAB and PyCat says the shaded region of the design shown is to be painted red. What is the area in square units of the shaded region? Use uh, pi equals 3.14. So it's referring to this shaded region right here. If we look closer at this figure, we can see that we have a rectangle and inside the rectangle, we have two circles cut out from it. So to find the area of the shaded region of the rectangle, we're gonna find the area of the rectangle, which is length times width, minus two. Why two? Because we have two identical circles times the area of one of the circles. How do you find the area of a circle? Pi r squared. All right, what is the length and width of the rectangle? It's gonna have a length of 20, so this becomes 20. Its width is 10, of course, 20 times 10, minus two times Pi. Now we need to know the radius of one of these circles in order to use this formula. The distance from here to here is the diameter of the circle. Uh, there is a predefined relationship between the diameter and radius of a circle. That is, the diameter is always equal to 2r. We can see that the diameter is 10 units. So this becomes 10 equals 2r. Divide both sides by 2 now you get r by itself, r equals 5. So we know the radius right here of one of these circles is 5, so we could go ahead and plug that in uh, to our formula. This becomes 5 squared. All right, let's work this out. 20 times 10 is 200 minus 5 squared is 5 times 5, or 25. 25 times 2 is 50, so this is 200 minus 50 pi. Uh, we're told to let pi be 3.14, so this becomes 200 minus 50 times 3.14. I'm going to do that math off to the side. We have 3.14 times 50. We have to move these decimals two places to the right to make this 314 times 50, albeit with two decimals to move back in. All these are going to be 0, so 0, 0, 0. Before we start multiplication with that five, we bring in a zero placeholder. Five times four is 20, bring down a zero, carry a two. Five times one is five plus two is seven. Five times three is 15, bring in our, add this up. Uh, this is 157 plus nothing, so it's gonna be 15700. Zero, zero. Bring in our two decimals, one, two. So this becomes 200 minus 157, which is 43. Uh, so the answer to this one is going to be A. Again, if you couldn't do this part mentally, do it off to the side, 157. Uh, we can't do 0 minus 7, so we have to borrow. This becomes 1, this becomes 10, this becomes 9, this becomes 10, 3, 4, and that is 0. So the answer to this one again is A.